but that's why I have it. Okay, so today we're going to haha, continue using the Pythagorean theorem. So someone remind me what the Pythagorean theorem says. Okay, if you've never talked in math class and I've never heard your voice, today would be the day. So A squared plus B squared. We normally do equal C squared. I'm not going to write in the equal right now. That is the only thing we're changing today. This symbol today can be an equal to sign like usual. It could also be a less than or a greater than. We have to decide. And before I go any further, the only other thing Emmy really needs to know from me, because she probably could figure this out without me, the only other thing she really needs to know from me is it's the opposite of what you think. Okay, so if you get the equal to symbol, what kind of triangles does the Pythagorean theorem work for? Right triangles. So the equal to is only going to be for a right triangle. It is only for a right triangle. That's what we've been practicing the last two days. Using the equal to on the first day, and then yesterday, if it wasn't equal, we just said no. We didn't do anything else with it. Today, we're going to do one step further. If it's not equal, we're going to decide whether or not to use the less than or the greater than. Obviously, we talked about right. Which would you assume goes with an acute triangle, the less than or the greater than? It would make sense. Acute, less than, I get it. It's the opposite of what you think. Less than actually goes with an obtuse. Greater than actually goes with an acute. It is the opposite of what you think. Okay, and if that made no sense to you, I swear it will once we work a couple problems. I'm not going to put an equal to sign. I'm just going to put a circle for now. So 9 squared plus 12 squared. I'm going to put a circle and then 15 squared. Okay, 9 squared is 81. 12 squared is 144. Again, my circle, what it 15 squared and that 225. I don't know what 14 plus 81 is. 144 plus 81 is. I don't know. Okay, so what symbol do I decide to put inside my circle? Okay, so I'm going to go back and fill all equals. So what kind of triangle does this mean I have? I have a right triangle. Why was it silly of Miss Compton to do any of this work to begin with? It was a triple to begin with. I didn't even have to do any of this. I know that 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. 15 divided by 3 is 5. It was a 3, 4, 5. Isn't that really a triple? It was a multiple of a triple. I recognize my Pythagorean triples. If that happens to you, because you are smart, I don't care if Harrison doesn't show me work on the problem then. He can just put PT, Pythagorean triple. T for triple. Put something so I know he's alive. I'll give him all his points. Okay, 10, 11, 13 is not a triple I've learned. So let's see, 10 squared plus 11 squared. I'm going to put my symbol. I'm not sure what's going to go in my circle yet. Does that equal 13 squared? 10 squared is 100. 11 squared is 121. Thirteen squared, I think, is one sixty nine. Someone should probably check Miss Thompson's math today. You know, if I'm going to make a mistake, it's going to be first period. Two twenty one and one sixty nine. Do we decide two twenty one is that less than, greater than, equal to one sixty nine? Oh, it's greater than. Was well, the opposite of what you think? Since we put the greater than symbol, what kind of triangle do we have? An acute triangle. Now, if you want to go back and fill in all your empty holes, that's up to you. If Ayana does not like my circle technique because it's not very mappy, if she wants to put an equal to sign until the end and then change it, that's fine. I get my circle, open circle thing's not very mappy. Okay, 7, 8, 14, is that a triple we know? Okay, so let's do 7 squared plus 8 squared, our circle, and then 14 squared. 7 squared is... 8 squared is 
I don't know 14 squared. I think 196. Okay, so you add 49 plus 64, what do you get? 113. Is 113 greater than, less than, or equal to 196? It's less than, so we have an obtuse triangle. Can we have Last name begins with A to the lobby for your tapping out picture. I can just have enough school days to take off. I will. Your tapping out picture. Cannot. 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 So all we're doing, again, is the Pythagorean theorem. The only thing that's changing for Diego today is he might change that symbol to a less than or a greater than. I do all my math and then decide which symbol to use. That's why I put circles until the end. Are there any questions about this? Derek. Of course I do. And top of that over there. Over there. Is that the sentence? Are there any questions about this? Even from my girl who I haven't seen in a week. I swear we've been Pythagorean here and it might have been gone. My only thing that I need to tell you otherwise before I just tell Jarrell to go crazy and get all his math done is the following. It's a calculator trick Jarrell may or may not need to know because I saw it on the here in worksheet. Michelle, who's not in the room, is who on a brag on. She actually asked me how to do it. If you see something like this, and you need to use it in the Pythagorean theorem, here's how you put it in your calculator. All you have to do, so it was four screw to three, and I need to square it. If you'll put the whole thing in parentheses, so open parentheses four. Second square root three, close both parentheses, and then square it. Your calculator can do that for you. So if either A or B is a scary looking radical, all you have to do is put it in your calculator. Just make sure you're using lots of parentheses. If you need any help with calculator typing and stuff, that's my kind of thing. I can definitely help you with that. Okay, if there are no questions, Lord knows you've got plenty to do. If you want any of the bonuses, come see me. Otherwise, I'm about to start torturing people with checkpoints.